a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Willis Carrier Willis Haviland Carrier was an American engineer, best known for inventing modern air conditioning. Carrier invented the first electrical air conditioning unit in 1902. In 1915, he founded Carrier Corporation, a company specializing in the manufacture and distribution of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Career In Buffalo, New York, on July 17, 1902, in response to an air quality problem experienced at the Sackett Wilhelms Lithographing and Publishing Company of Brooklyn, Willis Carrier submitted drawings for what became recognized as the world's first modern air conditioning system. The 1902 installation marked the birth of air conditioning, because of the addition of humidity control, which led to the recognition by authorities in the field that AC must perform four basic functions. After several more years of refinement and field testing, on January 2, 1906, Carrier was granted for an apparatus for treating air, the world's first spray-type air conditioning equipment. It was designed to humidify or dehumidify air, heating water for the first function, and cooling it for the second. In 1906 Carrier discovered that constant dew point depression provided practically constant relative humidity which later became known among air conditioning engineers as the law of constant dew point depression. On this discovery he based the design of an automatic control system, for which he filed a patent claim on May 17, 1907, was issued on February 3, 1914. On December 3, 1911, Carrier presented what is perhaps the most significant document ever prepared on air conditioning rational psychrometric formulae at the annual meeting of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. It became known as the Magna Carta of Psychrometrics. This document tied together the concepts of relative humidity, absolute humidity, and dew point temperature, thus making it possible to design air conditioning systems to precisely fit the requirements at hand. With the onset of World War I in late 1914, the Buffalo Forge Company, where Carrier had been employed for 12 years, decided to confine its activities entirely to manufacturing. The result was that seven young engineers pooled together their life savings of $32,600 to form the Carrier Engineering Corporation in New York on June 26, 1915. The seven were Carrier, J. Irvin Lyle, Edward T. Murphy, L. Logan Lewis, Ernest T. Lyle, Frank Sanner, Alfred E. Stacy Jr. and Edmund P. Heckel. The company eventually settled on Frelling Highs and Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. Great Depression and afterwards Despite the development of the centrifugal refrigeration machine and the commercial growth of air conditioning to cool buildings in the 1920s, the company ran into financial difficulties, as did many others, as a result of the Wall Street crash in October 1929. In 1930, Carrier Engineering Corporation merged with Brunswick Crowe Shell Company and York Heating and Ventilating Corporation to form the Carrier Corporation, with Willis Carrier named chairman of the board. The Great Depression slowed residential and commercial use of air conditioning. The company spread out over four cities in New Jersey, and Pennsylvania until Carrier consolidated and moved his company to Syracuse, New York, in 1937. The company became one of the largest employers in central New York. Willis Carrier's igloo in the 1939 New York World's Fair gave visitors a glimpse into the future of air conditioning, but before it became popular, World War II began. During the post-war economic boom of the 1950s, air conditioning began its tremendous growth in popularity. Today, air conditioning and HVAC is a staple in many American homes. Ceiling fans and air conditioning are often used in conjunction. In summer, a ceiling fan allows the thermostat to be set several degrees higher. In winter, a fan can be set to a low speed on reverse direction to bring down stratified heat from the heating system. Legacy In 1930, Carrier started Toyo Carrier and Samsung applications in Japan and Korea. South Korea is now the largest producer for air conditioning in the world. The Carrier Corporation pioneered the design and manufacture of refrigeration machines to cool large spaces. By increasing industrial production in the summer months, 
air conditioning revolutionized American life. The introduction of residential air conditioning in the 1920s helped start the Great Migration to the Sun Belt. The company became a subsidiary of United Technologies Corporation in 1980. The Carrier Corporation remains a world leader in commercial and residential HVAC and refrigeration. In 2007, the Carrier Corporation had sales of more than $15 billion and employed some 45,000 people. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?